Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today I'm just gonna be doing a little birthday glam. Today is my birthday. I am 44 today. So yes, today is my birthday. We're gonna do a little bit of pink. Um, being that I have a pink shirt on, you know I like to match my makeup with what I'm wearing. To all of my Tauruses out there, happy birthday. To all of my Taurus twins, happy birthday. I wish everybody nothing but prosperity and blessings. And I hope everybody has a fabulous year and many years to come with nothing but good fortune. And today I am going to use the pink Mojito palette. Um, I believe I got this off of Timu. We're gonna go ahead and try this out and we're gonna see what I can create today. I'm gonna go ahead and switch up the primer. Um, I'm actually going to use the Farah eyeshadow primer. I did get this in a boxy charm. That's why I like using their products. So. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it up and use that today. And I really don't have anything planned today. I'm probably just gonna go and hang out with my mom and chill with her. I may go see what my brother's doing as well. And that may be it pretty much. While that primer is, you know, setting in, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face. So I'm gonna use my NYX uh, Bear With Me Setting Spray. I'm gonna have to give me some more. I'm running out of that. NYX is one of my favorite setting sprays. I love this little fan here. I have not charged this bad boy for like two weeks or so, and it's still, it's still, you know, working. I love this fan. So this is a good investment. Um, it's sweet full mini held held mini hand held fan so yes if you're interested it's really nice and it has a little usb port where you plug it into yeah it stays charged for a long time so i really like that all right so i'm just going to use benefit the professional uh, primer and i was doing some research on primers and they were saying that with your primers do not just like rub it in your skin you're supposed to just like dab it in so this whole time i've been sitting here going like this on my face and you're supposed to just dab it in your skin, especially for like larger pores. I do have larger pores. Um, I am aging as a part of life. So I'm gonna try dabbing it in and see if it makes a difference. I'm only taking like this much, so we'll see. But I mean, I get it over on my cheeks and then I just put a little bit on my forehead and my chin. Um, because that's where I notice them the most. So I'm just dabbing it in. And I hope everybody is doing well today. I hope everybody is doing well. It looks like the sun is shining a little bit right now. Well, it's kind of overcast right now, but it's supposed to rain again later. So it's been raining cats and dogs here. I'm over it. I think they have the April showers, bring May flowers. I think they have that mixed up because that is not what's happening. All right, so again, I'm gonna take this eyeshadow palette here and I am going to apply probably a couple of these um, brown colors here, just put a little transition shade on my eyelids and then we'll go in with the pink look and see what we can create. If I sound a little like froggy or a little under the weather, it's because I do have a sinus infection so I've been battling this for a little while, so, but the show must go on. I think I have used this before. Um, this palette, this uh, eyeshadow palette is pretty pigmented. I think I have used this before. So I'm just going in with the browns and yeah, they're pretty pigmented. And they look kind of pink, that's funny. Yeah, I think this was from Timu and I think I'm gonna, I might have to do another Timu haul. Um, their makeup is like really cheap, but it's really pigmented as well. Some nice makeup. So with the same brush, I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to use these three pink colors here. And I'm just gonna put it a little bit higher, a little bit by my brow bone, but not all the way up. I'm just going to take these colors and mix them and put them above right here, just a little bit higher. In the crease.
All right, so now with a different brush, I'm going to take this shade right here and this like purplish color here. I'm gonna mix these two colors together and just apply it on the lid and see what happens. All right, so now there is another color in here. It's right above these two colors here and it has some, sh it has like some sparkles in there. I think I'm just gonna get me another brush, uh, spray my brush and then apply it on top and see what I can create. So I'm just dipping into here and gonna spray my brush. And see what happens. Like I'm really trying to make it pop. You guys can't go wrong with these tapes. Again, you can get these on Amazon, Ulta, Sephora. Just get you some eyeshadow tapes and they should be cheap. I don't think Elf sells these anymore, so. All right, so I'm just gonna take my big fat liner and I'm gonna line my eyelids here. All right, so eyeliner is on. It's a little thicker than what I would like for it to be, but it's cute. We'll go ahead and rock it, may as well, why not? So I'm just gonna take some mascara and I'm just going to get ready to put my falsies on. Here in just a moment. All right, so I am using the Double Trouble Essence Mascara and I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on my lashes. That way I can prepare for my falsies. All right, and then today for lashes, I am just going to use my I Envy So Wispy Lashes, and these are 06. So I'm just gonna use these today for my lashes. Okay. I love these lashes. Um, they're not too dramatic, and they're more natural looking rather than just bold and, you know, like you're going on a special occasion. I'm not, so we're gonna do the natural lashes today. All right, lashes are on, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do my foundation and all that there. So today, the foundation that I'm using, this is the Black Radiance Color Perfect Liquid Makeup. It's oil-free. So I do have the shade, what shade is this? Bisque. So I do have the shade Bisque. I'm hoping that it matches, so we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here. I went and got a few things from CVS the other day and I was like, let me get me a new foundation. Oh, okay, it has a wand. So let's see right here. Do a few swipes. This reminds me of the Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation, um, if you remember that, because it has a wand as well. So very similar. I'm just putting a lot of swipes on here and seeing what happens. All right, so I'm just gonna take my e.l.f. brush and I'm just gonna blend this foundation into the skin. It really reminds me of the Wet n Wild, like the application and everything, the way that it's sitting on the skin, it reminds me of that, like almost identical. So I would say this is maybe medium coverage. It's not full coverage at all. You know, I like full coverage, so I am gonna have to go in with a little bit more to try and build it up. So let's see if it is buildable, because I'm not getting that much coverage. And it seems kind of watery, if you see that. So I'm just gonna build it up a little bit more and see if it, you know, 
is buildable. For you ladies that have all that nice, beautiful, clear skin, no acne, no scarring, no nothing like that, then you would like this foundation. So, But it looks like it is a little bit buildable. Again, I say this is like medium coverage. So you can build it up a little bit. All right, so I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D concealer here. Um, I do have this shade tan. So I'm just going to apply this. So the weather is changing and I'm finding myself having a little bit of difficulty with foundations and concealers. Um, if they're either too dark or they're too light. So sometimes I'm having to mix a little bit more, but no big deal. We're going to make it work. So this is the shade tan. I'm just going to apply it and let this sit on here for a few moments. And I still do my concealer old school, but do what works for you. So I'm going to take the shade medium deep. This is Flower Beauty. I'm going to take that and I'm going to blend this underneath that concealer that I just applied because I like mixing shades because again, the undertones and things like that, sometimes they're too dark, sometimes they're too light. And I'm just putting a little pinch of that on there. Letting that sit in here for a couple minutes and then we will be right back. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend out this concealer and then we're just gonna go ahead and finish up this face here. And once I blend out my concealer with my ring finger, what I like to do is take my foundation brush with the leftover product and blend it out. That way it blends in without causing such a big contrast. All right, so that's blended out. The under eyes are set. Now I'm just gonna go in and set the rest of my face with my setting powder. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the uh, Black Radiance Matte Setting Spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with that. All right, and then for bronzer, I did get a new uh, palette for bronzer. So I am using the Essence um, Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. So I'm gonna use this today. So these are the shades here. I think they're very pretty. So I'm gonna use these here. And I think I'm just gonna mix all of those because I think they'll go well. So that, that looks really nice. It looks buildable. I don't want to put too much on, but yeah, I can see it. I can see it. It looks good. And then for blush, I did get something from Essence as well. This is the Pure Nude Baked Blush, and this one is in Rosy Rosewood. So this is the color here. So I'm going to use this today. Okay, I like that color. I like that pink goes perfect so i like that that's pretty and then i did get a highlighter as well from essence i just went on a little just a little mini uh spree at cvs so and it wasn't expensive i'm surprised because cvs usually their makeup is like really expensive but yeah it looks like there was a discounted price so i took advantage of it usually i get my like makeup off of Amazon or Walmart. It just depends. Depends on who's having a sale and whatnot. But for this um, highlighter, this color is Be My Highlight. So we're going to see what this does here. All right, so I'm just going to take my highlighting brush and just dip into that here and tap off the excess. Okay, that's cute. It's not too blinding or anything like that. I like that, that's really cute. It's really nice and soft on the skin. So yeah, that looks really pretty. I'm just gonna take some and put that above by my eyebrow like I usually do. And then now we're going to finish up this lower lash line. Actually, no, we gotta set the under eyes, I forgot. I'm going to take my Wet n Wild powder, my finishing powder. I have the shade Tan Dark. Um, 
I did go ahead and get another shade. I had to go to the website itself because Amazon did not have this shade on there. So I did have to get the darker color, but it is so pigmented. You do not need much at all. So I just dip into it one time, tap off the excess and set my under eyes with it. All right, so there's that. And then we'll set the face with this later. All right, so now I'm gonna do my waterline and I'm using the Neon, well, it's the LA Girl Neon Shockwave. This is lip liner, but I'm putting it on my eyes. I love when I do this look because it is so gentle and it's a gel. You don't have to put it on your lip. You'll never see me in no pink lip liner like that. So I only got it because I thought it was a eyeliner, but it's a lip liner. I'm gonna put it on my eyes. It's very gentle. I'm just gonna line the waterline. All right, so the waterline is lined. I think that's cute. Pop a pink in the waterline. All right, so that is lined. And then I am going to, I think I'm going to pop on some glitter on my eyelid here. So I have this color here and I'm going to put that on my eyelid. And then I'm gonna also um, put some uh, highlight in my inner corner of my eye here as well. So I'm just gonna put the glittered like just in the front of the eyelid here. And again, I'm just focusing it really on just the center of the eyelid. Build up just a hair on that one too. All right, so there's that. There's the eyelid, guys. And then I'm going to put an inner corner highlight right there. And then we are almost done. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just taking this Beauty in a Blink palette here. I am just going to use these highlighter colors here and I'm just gonna put that in the inner corner. So I'm just gonna mix them, probably just mix a couple shades, spray my brush and just apply it. Okay, and then now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take this palette again and I'm going to take this pink color here and just run that down on my lower lash line. All right, so the lower lash line is lined. So I'm just taking my Wet n Wild, I'm taking the other shade, which is medium tan, and I'm just setting my face with it. I'm just taking like a dense brush and doing so. And just pressing it in. All right, so now I can put on the mascara on my lower lash line. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, so lower lash line is finished. And then we are going to do these eyebrows and the lips and we are finished guys. And this is my new favorite combo like this Elf liner, this Elf liner in dark brown. This is my jam right here. I love this liner. And then I'm just taking my Elf lip plumping gloss and I am in sparkling rose. I'm using that shade. Okay, I'm just gonna touch up these eyebrows. Again, I'm using the Wonder Beauty Upgraded Brow Duo, and this is in Dark Brown. I love this because, it, you know, it blends in perfectly. I don't have to put a lot on or anything like that, but it blends in just perfectly.
All right, guys. So this completes my birthday glam for the day. Again, happy birthday to all of my Tauruses. Happy birthday to my twins. Nothing but blessings and prosperity sent my way to you. And I hope everybody has an amazing day, an amazing year. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. I will have more content loading. And as always, stay blessed.